We are still seeing issues from Friday's global tech outage. Flights are still being canceled and hospitals are working on rescheduling patients. And this all coming after a botched software update from the cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. Our NBC 10's Jericho Tran joining us from Logan Airport with a look at what travelers are dealing with several days later. Jericho. Several days later, and there are still hundreds of unclaimed suitcases here, rows upon rows, as travelers try to find their luggage. And believe it or not, this is not just happening here in Boston. One traveler says that what it looks like here is way better than what it looks like in Atlanta. So this is nationwide. Another, another traveler tells me that he's forked out an additional $700 just to pay for accommodations because of these delays. So this outage is not only inconvenient, but it's expensive as well. With over 4,600 Delta flights canceled between Friday and Sunday, you have not requested the bag. Please do so. stranded travelers sift through the mounds of luggage lining the Terminal A baggage claim floors here at Logan Airport. Since it's Saturday, I'm supposed to go back to Atlanta. We've been here since Thursday, mm -hmm. and since Thursday, like, they just keep on getting delayed. The mayhem caused by the unsuccessful CrowdStrike update, which led to a worldwide outage of Windows computers, affecting over 8.5 million people. The irony is that the product that we're relying on to, to help protect us is the one that caused the incident here. Creating massive delays for banks, government offices, and hospitals. Initially, we started panicking. Anne-Marie Sakella felt the impacts from the global technology outage at Faulkner Hospital on Friday morning. We went into a very rudimentary pen and pencil um, mode. As part of the Massachusetts Nurses Association, the nurse of over 40 years is currently working to renegotiate Negotiate the nurse's contract. The outage further strengthened her call for adequate staffing and better pay. We are short staffed and we cannot keep these nurses if we do not pay them. And while the cybersecurity company works to help clients recover, experts say this outage is not a reason to abandon CrowdStrike. CloudStrike is a very reputable company. They have a very strong reputation, they have very high quality products and solutions. And right now, airlines are working to reschedule those flights and hopefully reunite this luggage with some of the travelers that are coming through the airport. But this did not just affect airlines and hospitals. It also affected government agencies as well. The RMV tells us that right now they are not able to do vehicle inspections, but they are able to do motorcycle inspections. At Logan Airport, Jericho Tran, NBC10 Boston. Mm, feel for those folks just out there. Just a mess, yeah. yeah.